Hello the YouTubes, Ash back once again with number three in my Vlog on Sun series where I talk about me, myself and anything else that I've found interesting over the last seven days. Not a lot's gone on with me personally this week. Nope, nothing. Uh, I've just had my head down, I've been writing a lot. Um, which in itself is exciting enough for me but you don't care. And if you want to read what I've written then subscribe to my Geekbox and get the magazine. Jobs are good and simple as that. Speaking of my geek box, that came last week. I unboxed that on Friday. The video is online now. Link will be in the description. Go along, check it out. It was another impressive month, as it always is. But away from me, because like I say, I've literally got nothing of interest to tell you that I can think of. I have got something interesting to talk about regarding a member of my family, but I'm going to come on to that at the end because there's a video that goes with that. And I'll stick that on at the end of this one. So please, please. Stick around, check that out, because I think it's bloody impressive anyway. But I'll get onto that later on. So let's kick off with gaming. Uh, this week I completed the Mortal Kombat story, and I thought it was pretty damn good, to be honest. The, the game itself is fantastic. The graphics and the gameplay are immense. Um, the story itself, it was very much Mortal Quick Time with Daddy Issues. But it was still really good, because how they've um, brought in a new generation of fighters. You've got four new characters, which are the offspring of already established characters and the worry I had with those is they were just going to be carbon copies of their parents but they're not. They've got their own personalities, they've got their own fighting styles. They are obviously similar to their parents fighting styles but the way the game works each fighter has three separate fighting styles anyway so they're all fairly unique and it's definitely worth picking up. If, if you're a fan of fighting games they, they don't come much better than Mortal Kombat X. But that's pretty much all I've played this week and pretty much all that's going on in the world of games. I believe The Witcher 3 is out in a couple of weeks, as someone told me yesterday. Um, I played Witcher 2 for about four or five hours. It looks amazing, and then there's a lot going on, but it's not my thing. So I can't really get excited about The Witcher 3, as brilliant as it looks. But it's movie news that's really got me excited this week, and, and unless you've been living under a rock, there have been some pretty important trailers released in the last week. Star Wars Episode 7 trailer come out, then 48 hours later, Batman vs Superman released a trailer because it leaked online, so they just released it anyway. And uh, just, well, last night stroke this morning, Fantastic Four trailer hit. Uh, a full theatrical trailer as opposed to the teaser we got a few months back. I could sit here and waffle on about the Star Wars trailer and the Batman trailer until my ears bled and brain fluid leaked all over my shirt. But I'm not going to, because I've written about them. And as I said at the start of the video, if you want to know what I think, subscribe to My Geek Box and get the My Geek Box magazine. I believe this article that I've written about these trailers is going in the next box, so there's still plenty of time to subscribe to get it. So please do that. Yes, the magazine, it's growing every month. There's more and more content going in, and it's getting to be quite fantastic if I do say so myself. So it's worth getting just for that, but it's not because my geek box is fantastic anyway. Like I say, I've got plenty of unboxing videos on this channel. Have a look and see what I'm talking about. I think if you've got any geeky bones in you at all, it's worth picking up. So yeah, I can't really go into detail about those because it undermines everything that I'm trying to do in a professional line. <laughs> so I'm gonna talk about another bit of news that I saw the other day, which was, Jason Sudeikis has apparently signed on to play Fletch. Now, if you haven't seen Fletch and Fletch Lives, uh, two awesome 80s comedies starring Chevy Chase, I think they're both fantastic, even the second one, which it's not as good as the original, but it's still a damn good sequel. I'm really excited to see another Fletch movie, and Kevin Smith was attached to, to write Fletch 1 years ago with Jason Lee starring in the title role, which I thought was perfect. Um, you can tell that... Uh, Kevin Smith knows Fletch inside and out. There's references to Fletch in a couple of his movies. It would have been the dream team, and I love Jason Lee. But Jason Sudeikis is a pretty damn good comedy actor, like from Horrible Bosses and uh, We Are The Millers. I like the guy. I think he can pull it off. Whether he goes full Chevy, I don't know. He should make it his own, to be fair. But I loved Chevy Chase as Fletch, and I think the problem we would have had if Jason Lee had stepped in, he probably would have tried to have been Chevy Chase. So it's good to see they're going in a slightly different direction. I don't think it's going to deviate too far from the movies. I'm not sure how far it's going to deviate from the film. From the film. From the books. I've never read the books. But apparently they're a bit darker in tone than the Chevy Chase movies. We'll see. 
who knows? But this is like the fourth or fifth time I've heard that a new Fletch movie is going to be made and then it's just tailed off. It's like The Crow. It keeps coming to the forefront and then disappearing in the background. Will we ever see it? Who knows? Meanwhile, in TV land, Game of Thrones returned last week, as we all know. And I was slightly, just slightly, underwhelmed. It was good to have it back. That was exciting. But I think the problem was I was overexcited. I wanted it to like, just kick off with a big bang and all hell break loose. And it didn't. There were a couple of moments that were really interesting, but they were like, interesting in terms of dialogue. There was no action. There was nothing. There was no visceral, visual excitement. It was all cerebral. It was like, oh, that's going to pay off in the future, which is good. I know it's one of the things that makes Game of Thrones brilliant is how well the story's woven, but it just would have been nice to, to announce the return with something eye popping but i'm sure i'm sure as it picks up and it goes on that that's gonna happen um i also finished daredevil on netflix last week and now there's a big hole in my life because i was really really into that again i've reviewed that for the my geek box magazine so i'm not going to go into too much detail about it here because i'm not repeating myself part with some cash <laughs> Help a brother out. So that's pretty much it with games, movies and TVs and me this week. I'm trying to make the video shorter than last week because I went on for far too long. I almost forgot to answer your questions. What a bad, bad person I am. So here we go. Here's your questions from last week answered. Uh, first off, let's start with the missus. <laughs> you said I have wild ideas and I should crack on. Well, can I build a cat servitory and adopt stray cats? Yes, crack on. Why not? got four already we might as well have 40 and uh, the mother-in-law has chimed in can you make the cat's pole dance for me next time there you go how's that dino mighty <clears throat> keep up the good work i'll try what is your earliest memory of gaming and can you recall the first game system you had yes i can uh commodore vic 20 <laughs> if anyone remembers them it was rubbish, but I'm sure it played games. If not, then the Commodore 64 was the next step up from that. And then I progressed on to the Amiga 500. And I know the Amiga CD TV as well for a short spell. That was rubbish. And then I got my first ever console, which was the Sony PlayStation. The first one. I never got a... Sega Mega Drive or a Nintendo or anything like that. I went straight into the PlayStation 1 and then the PlayStation 2, the original Xbox, and then Xbox 360, and then I eventually got a PlayStation 3, and now I have the Xbox One. And I'm sure eventually one day when somebody drops one and they don't notice, I'll have a PlayStation 4 because I ain't forking out for one. I don't have the money, don't have the means. At the minute, they just they don't they don't impress me that much. I think the exclusive on the Xbox are better. Sorry, fanboys. And as for the first game I ever played on my earliest memory of gaming, I think, I think this came from when I used to on a Sunday we used to get a Chinese takeaway, and I used to go with my dad to collect it. And in the Chinese takeaway, they had a little arcade system in the corner and it only had like Space Invaders on, I think. And my dad would give us whatever it was back then, a shilling, I don't know. <laughs> Shillings, nice. He would, he would put some money in that just to shut us up and I'd play Space Invaders while our food was prepared. And I think that's pretty much my earliest memory of game. And I don't even know if I was doing it right. I just like flicking the joystick around and pressing the button. So there we have it. If you have any questions we'd like to answer next week, please chime in in the comments below and let me know and I'll try and answer them. Thank you. So as I mentioned at the start, and you can probably see it in the title of this video, if anyone watched my end of year review uh, video that I did at the end of the year, I mentioned uh, Bradley Thorburn, my cousin's son. Don't know what that makes me, what, what? Is he, I don't know, whatever. Whatever he is, he's a legend. He's the, the boxer that, well, he's a killer. He's not a boxer, he's a killer. As you'll see, <laughs> he had another fight at the weekend and blitzed this kid. And I feel sorry for the, the guy he was fighting because he just demolished him. 
the fight I'm going to tag on the end of this video. You can watch the whole thing. He ended it in the first round. So if you're not that into boxing anyway, you don't have to stick around for too long. But please do give it a watch. And let me know in the comments what you think. Have we got a future champion on our hands? Because I might be biased, but I certainly think we do. Brad Thor, Thorburn. Brad the Tank. Brad the Killer. Brad, just don't mess with him because he's going to rip your face off. Keep an eye out for this kid. He's going places, I'm telling you. So please stick around, watch that fight. And as always, please do tell your friends, tell your family. Don't tell me, mum. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Enjoy the fight. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. Hey, Brad! That's it, go on! Go on, 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 go